Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to talk about the color shift paints from Plaid Folk Art. And what I did, they have a lot of colors, but I'm just going to deal with these ones. Why is my camera off? Okay, so I'm going to be doing a project, but we're going to talk about a couple of these colors. I'm going to show you a few things. Um, I got asked, I got asked, uh, why, how do I say it? Got a couple emails asking about these. They bought them. They weren't happy with them. They couldn't get them, I guess, to shift or what have you. And so I thought I would come on and do a couple experiments and show you guys a couple things. Um, I've played with these a lot. And, um, when I first used them, I was like, oh, okay, like I wasn't real sure I liked them, but I didn't, I wasn't real sure on how exactly to use them. Um, so the more I played with them, I kind of got a groove and a gig. And so we're going to talk about them. So I'm going to just, excuse me, one second. Rinse off my brushes. Okay. So I'm going to be uh, talking, we're going to be using rather today, the orange flash the, I cannot see today, aqua flash. If it's yellow flash, I see, yep, yellow flash. Oh girl, black flash and purple flash, right? Blue violet flash. Okay. So you can see the tops have, these are so dirty because these are almost empty, but they have, you know, you could see kind of like the different colors that kind of goes to see. It's like, oh yeah. See that yellow right there? That's like the underneath the iridescent part. Let's see if we can see that. And then you got the blue. Look at that. Whoa. Baby, come back. There you are. Look at that. I think I showed you this, but we'll. Give it to my babe. Okay. Anyway, so what I did was I took blank CDs and I painted them. Um, now these can go on the blank CDs without being prepped. However, when I did it, it was very, um, what's the word I want to say? Not pigmented, but not opaque. <laughs> I can't think of the word. It went on very thinly and it just wasn't um, trans it was transparent. Kel. Okay. Transparent. So what I did was I base coated with orange and turquoise, yellow and purple. And you could see, I did a crap job. I just put it on there. So it had a base and then I was drawing there and then, um, waiting for everything to dry white and black. Okay. So that's right there. What I did here well, is I just, I painted black down first, acrylic paint. And this obviously is the yellow, the purple, and the aqua. But what you can see with the reflection of the light is that shift. Okay. Because like I said, this is the color that I use. So this is the purple or the violet blue. Um, this is the yellow flash. And then this is the blue. So look, so you can see how on black, how beautiful that looks, right? Look at that. Yeah, boy, yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. I could sit here all day. And I even dig, like I said, I dig this down here, but it 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 just is more subtle. Like I'm like, pow me, you know, like give it to me. Like I said, give it to my baby. You know what I'm saying? So that I love. So this is just on um white, the white watercolor paper. You can see, still beautiful. You can see the sheen and look at that. And if I turn it towards me a little bit, you can see it gets a little darker and you can kind of see the shift. Look at that. But I'm going to tell you, it's it looks a little metallic-y. More like you're just using metallic. Here, you can see the shift as it happens. Like when you look at it at a different angle. I mean, look at this. You look at it at a different angle and it just comes, look at that. It's just gorgeous. So what I did, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. What I did now is I put white gesso here. Okay. So now we're going to see what happens 
when we put white gesso down and we paint over it and see the color. So we'll have it on black. This is just by itself. And see here, I can see it looks very blue, but in, there you go. Now you can see the green, it's more green. Do you see the difference in the colors? And then it gets more shiny. So, and it's a shiny paint, it's gorgeous. Okay, so this is white gesso. Ugh, my neck, I'm gonna give it a shake because I just want all that underneath. See that, like, I know you probably can't even see it. But anyway, it's a deliciousness. I'm shaking it, it's a shaking, shaking, baby. All right. And I'm going in, okay. And just a little dab will do you. And I'm gonna just straight on paint it. Which is what I did over here and thinned it out. So you can see it's very sheer, it's very thinned out. Now I have that down. I can go over a little bit more, but you want it to be smooth unless you want texture. I mean, it's all you, but that's the, what color was this? Blue violet flash. I could actually write these on top. And I'm gonna rinse this off. Excuse the arm, I'm so sorry. Okay, and then we'll go in with yellow. Now I'm so, I did not swatch the orange down here. I'm sorry. I mean, if I have room, I'll do it real quick. I don't want to keep you here for six hours, so yellow. So definitely, you know, and you can see like it is transparent. Like you can see what's underneath of it. But if I want a little bit more, a little heavier, and you can also do two coats. So once it dries, you can go back on and do two coats. It's not a big whoop. Get that off of there. Okay. Thank you. Next. Okay. Blue. This is Aqua Flash. Give it a shake. Give it a shake. Beautiful. Like I said, these are beautiful. And this is that. And you can see it got a nice green aqua base. I mean, this would be beautiful as water or I have a couple ideas that I'm going to be doing. It's a little sheer than I would like it to be, but who am I? <laughs> I didn't make it. But you can build it up once it's dry. So what I like to do is I will take my heat gun, give it a little bit of a dry. You're gonna hear my dog cry in a minute. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Okay. And you can see how it deepens a little bit. So I'm gonna clean that off before I get that on my one. Go she, honey, lay down. Oh yeah, it's that kind of day today. I don't even want to get into it. Okay. You know when you wake up and you have like really big plans, like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get all this stuff done. And um, what color? Yellow, purple, blue. Let's do orange. And then there's black. Um, and then just doesn't work out that way. I'm gonna do orange up here. Let's see what it's like. Can you see that pink shift in there? I don't know. No, you can hear my dog cry though. Isn't that enjoyable? I hate that sometimes on the cameras, the um, shifts don't come through. Like certain colors just don't translate as well. Yo, she lay down. So that'll dry and then I'm just going to put it right here. And that's a little sheer than I like as well. Pretty though. I mean, it's very pretty. Oh, she's going to just go for it. She's going to go for it. Mommy's recording. Could you just stop? Look, I'm, I didn't go. See, here's the problem. I did not um, lay down today where I lay down every day and I took my needle the other day anyway. But I started doing stuff here and then I just didn't get a chance to lay down. Um, but my dogs, however, think at lunchtime when I make uh, Dave tea or whatever. Um, let's see if you can see this. Everybody's going to be like, we don't care about your dogs. Look at that gold. Look at that gold shift right there. Right there. Oh, yeah. Um, anyway, when I 
the, you know, then I'll like usually take a shower or whatever. And then I go to lay down and the dogs are in heaven. Cause they're like, we're going to bed again. Well, today I didn't. And this is what happens when I don't. All right. So this is just the black. And you can see the black's beautiful. And I'm, I'm really thickening it. And for some reason, the black, you can really layer on there good. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go over this one more time with whatever's left on my brush. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to dry it real quick. Okay, and then I'm going to lift it up and show you. Now, you can see it's gorgeous. I mean, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. But you see that black, that kind of gold that's coming? Oh, the shift. Look at that right there. Say so what? So depending on the lighting and, I mean, these are beautiful. Beautiful. And even, even sheerer on the white. I mean, beautiful. And this is on white, this is on just paper, that's on black. So, I mean, you can see the white brightens it up a bit. You could see my, it went through, like just on the paper, there was smudges um, and you could see it underneath there. This one, it, it's it, the color is beautiful, but it's just not my favorite. You really have to give it, I like it better on the black because on the white, I'm gonna have to give it a few coats. Now, is that the worst thing in the world? No, but I'm just saying, if I had to rate them. And you could see I have a little bit of lineage in there, which, you know. So, and then look, let's see if I can get this orange on here to show you the pink. No. I probably need two coats of that. Oh, right there, right there, right there. See it? Oh, yeah. Look, so if you, let's say you have, um, you do a painting or you do a piece um, now I have a project coming up tomorrow, uh, using these. So, and, and the CDs, um, but think about like doing a painting or painting a, um, I don't know, something wood or frame or what have you, and you have it hanging on the wall and the sun comes in a certain time of day. And when it comes in, you kind of get that, like, Oh, that's nice. You know what I mean? So this is just some ways that I had been playing with it. Some, um, you know, uh, ideas if you want to buy it or if you already have it like i said on black it's gorgeous i mean this is purple here you can see the gold when as you're looking at it now but it's the purple so you can really see let's see i mean see boop so you can really see you know and this is the blue on the black it's really really pretty gorgeous over here as well um and on the white looks gorgeous but this i can see on the camera you can see it's real pretty and blue when i go like this you can see it's greener do you know what i mean so they're gorgeous i don't um i don't suggest you shy away if you have them play with them uh if you want them get them they're gorgeous and there's a million other colors not a million there's probably five more colors um i think there's a red a pink oh poop I have them over there. Uh, a really cool green. You know that green color I love so much? Um, that like uh, kind of gecko green. They have one of those. So they have beautiful colors. Um, so yeah. So let me know what you guys think down below. I do. I'm going to tell you, I love them. And I love them even more now that I've been playing with them a lot more because now I have an idea of what I what to do, how to do it, and that, and how to use them. Um, it's like buying a liquid eyeliner and you're used to a pencil eyeliner. You know what I mean? You got to play for a little bit till you get into the groove of like, oh, I got that wing snatched. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Anyway, so that is it. Well, let me know what you guys think down below, please. And share me everywhere. I appreciate it. I'm going to let you know that Blitzy is having wicked, wicked sales. Um, they have all the new Tim Holtz, uh, pearl alcohol inks all the distress sprays they have all new stamps and stencils and uh oh gosh all the die cut machines and um plaid stuff and uh, just all kinds of stuff so go check it out the link is down below to go check it out um they have just the most fantastic stuff i ordered two 
of the Tim Holtz Pearl, um, you know, little colors I can only afford two of the packs, but I want to try them so badly. So I'm very excited. And yeah, so that is it. I love you guys so very much. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. And I will see you guys in my next video. I'm going to do something fun. I hope you guys will like it. And I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.